one between Cooper catches Bishop clean. And oh no, there's blood over the right eye. Andre Bishop is now in a tough spot. Well, his corner man's gonna have to take care of him. The cup man's gonna have to stop that bleed, but that has to serve as a warning of things to come. Be aware now, be better. Bishop able to land solidly against Cooper. Teddy, you see that cut right there? When you're in a spot like that, do you tell your charge, hey, go after it, worsen that cut? No, actually, I don't, because obviously he did something right to open it up to begin with. Just keep doing those things right, setting it up. If you look for only that, you forget the things that got you there. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power is not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Bishop splits the guard with an uppercut. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Cooper's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. One, two, it's okay, pay him back. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. There's Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. Nice job there of hooking Come to the let's body. Go. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Relax. Now the big concern for Andre Bishop, hmm. Teddy, is that cut over the right That's eye it. because it is getting worse and worse, bleeding badly. Now, his corner has to do the job, don't get me wrong. They have to be able to get the right medicines into that cut and apply pressure, but they need a little help from their fighter. He needs to go out there, move a little bit, play good defense, give those medicines, the coagulants, a chance to work. Bishop's in a real tough spot now. There's no doubt about it that the eye has worsened. That cut is really looking ugly right here. What does he have to think about right now? Is it time to just take the realization that, hey, this fight could end at any moment? Yeah, well, there's two things to that. First of all, the cut man's done his job. He's put the coagulants in there. Now he has to give them time to work. He's got to be elusive. He can't get hit on it for a little while. But also, he has to find a way for offense to stem the tide to keep the opponent from just walking right in. A battering hook by Cooper. It's one thing for the corner of Andre Bishop to tend to that cup between rounds, but Bishop himself has to protect it, and he's doing a good job of blocking punches that are targeting it from Cooper. Give credit to Dwight Cooper. He has gone on the attack against that cut over the eye of Andre Bishop. He's trying to earn himself a TKO victory here. Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the head. Come on. Field. He wants him to this block some hard, of these big blows. I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting quiet. I'm trying to focus on shit. Come on, bro. Go to sleep. Cooper mm. on the wrong end of a razor-sharp hook. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Good jab by Cooper. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Andre Bishop so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Oh, 
What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Hits him in the mug with the right. Bishop snapping that jab. Bishop showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. That's what I want to see. See, this is exactly what Andre Bishop's corner has been telling him. You got to keep those hands up. You have to protect that cut. He cannot allow Cooper to have a target to go after. Nice strike after catching one by Cooper. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Andre Bishop needs to be so careful right now that the ref doesn't stop that fight. Man. Because Cooper is landing punch after Man, punch against Cooper that up, cut eye. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Nice job doubling up the jab by Andre Bishop. Now that looks like a middleweight fighting a heavyweight there. Look at the hand speed from Bishop. And that's exactly the advantage he was going to need coming into this fight to beat the bigger man. He digs great. in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Let's move! You can see Andre Bishop now is employing a lot of defense. He has those hands up high, cut eye. Halfway through round number four. Putting his punches together, good combination by Andre Bishop. Bishop now utilizing that jab against Cooper. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Well up top. Some fine fundamentals. Good counter punch. Nice mousetrap. They let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese. He used distance. Nice. Great combination from Bishop. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent. Countered by Andre Bishop. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. This is a real concern now for Andre Bishop as Dwight Cooper is landing punch after punch against that cut eye. He could get a TKO victory here if that continues. Move your head! Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Cooper. Quick hook and it lands flush with the two punch combo by Andre Bishop. Cooper's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Now Bishop, looking to counter Cooper, gets that right hand over Cooper's jab. A stinging uppercut by Andre Bishop. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Cooper. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. This is not a good sign for Andre Bishop. It appears that he's slowing at this point. Yeah, what he needs to do is start placing his shots a little bit. But right now, as you just alluded to, he's just not throwing. Good right hand by Bishop, landing flush against Cooper. A little double jab to the head. Bishop's hand speed is the... There it is! There we he go. just went down. Finally. The infighter went out, and now he went Finally, down. Finally, hey, It's okay to go out, but go out the side door. Dude. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Seconds to 
go Just in this like round. That. And the round okay. comes to an end. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Right back to the gut. He engages in the clinch. Stay away from those. Bishop's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Come on. Targeting that belt line with the double jab. Nice. Nice. Halfway through round six. Fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Solid left hand to the head. How mm. is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? One time, Muhammad Ali, time, and what he basically talked about was that when you start those shots away, and then you go into a gray room, you go from a light room to a gray room, and at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down and you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Cooper's able to land a good, solid left hand. It's time to go. It's time to let those hands go. go. Keep the Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Now you can see Bishop taking advantage of the countering opportunities, getting that right hand over Cooper's jab. Bishop starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Bishop's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Good, effective work with that straight right hand. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. What happens when you have that kind of experience? You're calm enough that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Bishop keep digging to the body more. well. Lands a left hand against Cooper's right flank. Bishop's got a little oh. something coming back at him. A counter punch Whoa. scored. Come on, man. Move. Uh. Cooper hit by that power shot. That's a razor-sharp uppercut Bro. by Cooper. Bishop carries a punch, sends a punch. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Dwight Cooper. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. All right, and you look great. Come on, man. Round eight is underway. Bishop with a nice combination. A good old one-two landing on Dwight Cooper. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Double jab by Andre Bishop. <laughs> 